Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video, 2E0 IQJ. So this week's video we're going to build ourselves another dipole for 2 metres and 70 cms. We're going to call this dipole the no solder dipole. That's right, no soldering required. So what I'll do, I'll show you what we need to build a dipole. We'll build our dipole, check his SWR, and then we'll do an on-air test, see if we can actually make any contacts using the uh, very, very cheap no solder dipole. So let's get right to it. Okay, so to build our no solder dipole, we're going to use one of these, which is a BNC banana plug adapter. You can see there, there's holes there, we're going to poke a wire through the hole and uh, screw the terminal down. On the end of that, the connection there, I've got a BNC to PLT59, because we're going to use some PLT59 cable. So I've got there, and that's about 10 metres in length, it could be any length you've got, 10 metres, 5 metres and so on. Can I want some radials? Now these are off my last dipole build. If you haven't seen that, go and watch it, it's on this channel. These are 50 centimetres in length. Now on the end of them, I've got these um, connections there, which is the ring terminal isolators that I soldered on. Don't need them for this build. I'm just using the same cable, uh, the same radials that I had on the previous dipole. And we've also got ourselves some tape there. I'm going to be mounting it on to this pole here. At the top of the pole, we've got ourselves a T bracket there. I poke the cable through, and I'm going to tape the cable to the pole, and I'm going to poke the pole in one of these poles here so it stays up and we'll uh, check the SWR. Let me go and build it quickly. Literally all we're going to do is poke a piece of wire through there and tie the connection down. Let me go and build it and I'll put you back on the camera once I build it, show you it all set up and we'll check the SWR. Okay so to build our dipole we unscrew the black and red terminal, we poke a piece of wire through the black terminal which we've done there and then we tie it down. We do the same with the red terminal. The wire goes in and we just screw it down and there we go, that's basically our dipole built. So let me go and mount this onto the pole and I'll put you back on the camera once I've done it. Okay so the PVC pipe is in the ground, goes up, top of the PVC pipe in we've got a T-junction and there's the uh, BNC banana plug connection there. One radial goes up and one radial comes down. If I zoom out a bit, the cable comes out the, out the end of the pipe, goes down. I've put some tape around it. So let's go and check the SWR and see what it's like across the two metre band. Okay, let's zoom in on the Drift Tech and we'll see what it's like across the two metre band. So 141 megs, about 1.4 on the SWR. Let's go up. 144 megs, we're getting about 1.4 again. Let's go up to 145. There we go, lovely. Around about 1.4, 1.5 across the 2 meter band. Now I could trim the radials down to get it even lower, but for the purpose of the video, I'll leave it as 1.4 for the SWR. Okay, we're trying to access a few repeaters. I am filming this on a Sunday evening, so may not be able to get your contact back, but as long as you can get into the repeaters, we should be okay. We'll try a GB3VH and that's at Welling Garden City. That's around about eight or so miles away. 2E0 IQJ, check and access for GB3VH. Oh, look at that, no problems. Lovely strong signal coming back there from GB3VH. Let's try a GB3OY. That's around about 11 or so miles away. 2E0 IQJ, check and access for GB3AY. There we go, GB3AY's come back to us. So we're getting about 11 miles so far with this uh, home built no solder dipole. Let's try Royston, which is GB3PI. And I think that's around about 23, 24 miles away. When I go to edit the video, I'll post on the screen how many miles away each repeater is. 2E0 IQJ, check and access for GB3PI. Now that repeater was a lot more scratchy coming through. That was a 2 metre repeater. The last two were 70 sems. Let's try one more, which is GB3LV. There we go. Number 189 on this radio. 2E0 IQJ, check and access for GB3LV. This is 2E0 IQJ. 
there we go, got into GB3LV. Again, I don't know how many miles it is away, but I will post it on the screen. I was able to get into GB3LV, GB3LY, GB3VH and GB3PI. Now, later on in the week, I want to go out and about with this dipole, go to a higher spot, see if I can access any more repeaters. But so far, so good for a home-built, no-solder dipole. So we go to simple, no-solder, 2 meters and 70 centimeter dipole. Unscrew the terminal, put the wire through, screw it back up, and you're good to go. Now, I do want to swap these radios out at some point. One for four, do for four meters, and one for six meters, and see how I get on with them bands, because I haven't really played with them bands much. I only really ever do UHF, VHF, 10 and 11, and when the M1 ECC antenna comes out, do like 40 meters, 20 meters. Anyhow, I'd say give this a go, and see how you get on. If something that takes around about five minutes to build, it works very, very well. If you found the video some use, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ, 7-3 for now.